Hello everyone, this is Taria from Hidden Truth Tarot, and this is going to be your daily tarot reading for Thursday the 28th of May 2020. Please keep in mind this reading is for the collective, it's for all signs, and it is an intuitive reading. Also keep in mind, I have grandchildren running around playing, so you're probably going to hear them at some point in the background, just know that they are safe and they are fine. Now I'm using the Affirmators Tarot to pull a major theme and energy for you for Thursday. I'm also using the Angel Answers Oracle along with the Everyday Witch Tarot for your daily general messages. Alright, so let's see what energies we have here for Thursday the 28th and we are ready. Alright, we've got the Queen of Swords coming up here. Alright. Angels, what messages do you have for us for Thursday, the 28th? Thank you, angels. All right. Okay, so we have Ask Your Angels coming up here. Okay. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, angels. All right, what do we need to know? Thursday, the 28th of May, Spirit. What do we need to know? Thursday, the 28th. Thank you, Spirit. All right. Nine of Pentacles. The Hanged Man. Death. The Tower. Ace of Cups. Four of Swords. The moon and the emperor. Oh my goodness. I love it that this came out as a pair right here. This is so powerful. You've got the tower with the emperor clarifying. So you are rebuilding after a tower moment. Okay. You're, you've had a breakthrough here. And now you are building. Rebuilding something here that's going to be unshakable. How powerful is that? All right. Give me just a moment here. So we do have the master number 44 coming up here. And we also have the number 99 coming up here because the moon is the number 18, which reduces down to 9. I always tell you guys, go and Google the angel number meanings because it's going to bring more clarity into your situation. So we've got the Queen of Swords, whether you're female or male. Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius energy right here. You know what? This talks about, you guys, you, you definitely know what, you know, hardships are. You know what heartbreak is. You know what challenges are. You've been through some hard times, okay? You know, I feel for many of you, you know, you're coming from this space of being very outspoken, straightforward. It's that no-nonsense type of, atti of attitude right here, okay? You know, you're standing in your truth. You have clarity. You have sore foresight. Boy, I'm getting my, I'm getting all tongue twisted here. You have clarity and you have foresight about where you're headed and where you're going, Okay? I feel like along the way here, you guys, that you've had to release. You've had to cut ties with not only people, but situations, okay? Energies that are no longer serving you. That's no longer serving your, your life purpose, okay? This is you standing up for yourself, defending yourself, protecting yourself, okay? I 
I feel like for some of you, you know, you've had people literally tear you down, okay? And you've had to work on rebuilding yourself, okay? Building what was tore down and, and building it back up. And this is that energy of you are not going to let, you're not going to let anybody ever do that to you again. That's what I'm getting right here. Bless your heart. Whoever this message is for, you've been hurt. It's that energy of feeling like, you know, everything you had or your, your heart, everything was destroyed. But you know what? You are strong, you're tough, and you rebuilt yourself back up. Or you're in the midst of rebuilding right now. Okay? Your angels are telling you to ask them. They're telling you to talk to them, communicate with them. They're listening. You guys, it's going to be very important for you to talk to your guides and your angels, your ascended masters. When I give you guys numbers, it's going to be important that you look those numbers up. Okay, those are messages. You know, that's how our guides and our angels talk to us. They send us, you know, signs in the strangest things. It could be a, a strange bird that you keep seeing that's really, it's weird to even see it. You know, maybe the time of the year or where you live. Any type of animal or, or a critter, okay? Numbers. Symbolism, all right? Pay attention to your dreams, okay? Look stuff up. Because I feel like your angels are communicating with you. And it's going to be very important that you're open to receiving the messages that they're sending you. And this message is for one of you. It, it's time for you to sit down and talk just like I am. Talking to you guys. To your angels. I feel like it's been a minute. They want you to talk to them because they have something to say. They have a message for you. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, angels. I felt that, you guys. That was powerful. The hair on my arms is standing up. I got goosebumps. Whew. All right. Nine of Pentacles with the Ace of Cups. Beautiful pair right here. You know, the Nine of Pentacles, this talks about stability and security. This also talks about being, you know, independent. Some of you have recently went through a breakup or a divorce, and that's why this Queen of Swords is coming up here as well. But you know what? You've got this. You're, you're, you're in that energy of being self-reliant, okay? You're owning your independence. This is you saying, I got this, okay? I'm feeling the energies, you guys. It's pretty heavy right now. What you've been through was very difficult. But you know what? You are rebuilding. And there's so much growth and expansion that's going to come, come out of what you're rebuilding here, okay? A material harvest. There's going to be gain. Maybe you had somebody that was taking money from you left and right, leaving you broke. Well, now they're out of your life, and now you, you're not dealing with those challenges anymore. Okay, that message was for one of you. Because your cup is runneth over right here. You know, and I feel like this is spirit refilling your cup. Okay? Okay. Some of you are allowing a healing to take place at this time. For others of you, this is abundance. Your, your cup is runneth over right here. You're definitely fixing to feel a material harvest, material gain. Something's fixing to come to fruition and materialize. And it's not just going to be a little bit. It's going to be quite a bit. 
It's bringing in stability and security here. Now we've got the Hanged Man with the Four of Swords. The Hanged Man is all about going within. This is where mystical empowerment is gained. This is where you are seeing the truth within yourself, discovering truths within other people and situations. This is you breaking down bad habits, releasing, purging, letting go of anything, anyone that's no longer serving you. Okay? You're taking care of you, number one right here with the Four of Swords. Again, you're taking time out to refill your cup in return. Spirit's refilling your cup. And it's overflowing. You're rejuvenating yourself. For some of you, a rest is needed. Whether it be mental, physically, or emotionally, okay, or spiritual. You're recuperating. I feel for many of you, this is you taking time to check in with number one. This is where this mystical empowerment's gained. This is where you're, you know, finding the answers that you've been looking for. You're finding them within yourself. And this is what's allowing for you to break free. This is what's allowing for you to release and be able to move forward. And have clarity and foresight about where you're headed. Where you're going. What you want out of life. Talk about rebirth right here. Death with the moon. Powerful energies. Death is Scorpio energy right here. This is you purging. Releasing. This whole reading is talking about you letting go. And I feel like this is letting go of people and negative energies. Toxic energies. Toxic people. Okay, so you can release and let go and go through that transformation and transition into a new beginning that's going to be successful. Okay. The moon, the energy of Pisces. You know, some of you most definitely, you're coming out of that dark night of the soul, especially with the tower here. Okay. You know, this is many of you listening to your intuition, your own inner guidance right here. Paying attention to your dream, signs, symbolism, synchronicities. Okay? This is you understanding that all along you have been divinely guided. Spirit has never left your side. Nor has your angels or your spirit guides, your ascended masters. You're coming out of that dark night of the soul. It's like the phoenix rising from the ashes right here. You see the light at the end of the tunnel. And you're running for it. And you've made it. Where there was uncertainty. Where you were going through that, that dark, heavy energy. Now you're coming out and you're coming into the light. Nothing is hidden from you. No more darkness. The sun is shining on you now. I feel it, you guys. This is so powerful. And what happens is you have the tower right here. Where, you know, this is definitely... You've worked so hard to break down bad habits or purge, release. You know, stepping into your power here with this queen of swords. And no longer letting someone push you around or being in a toxic relationship or, you know, whatever this was, okay, that, that caused you to go into this, this queen of swords energy. Didn't mean many different things because there are so many of you watching. But you decided, wait a minute, I know my worth, I'm better than this, I don't deserve this. And this is you standing in your truth and in your clarity right here. And this is you purging and releasing. What happens is you have this breakthrough because you let whatever this was fall. Okay? I feel like some of you tore it down. You tore it down. Because you're ready to rebuild. Got the Emperor here, the energy of Aries. This is you taking back power 
and control and authority over your life, your situation, your circumstances. Okay? This is you asserting yourself. This is you rebuilding what you tore down or fell. Okay? Whatever fell here. But I feel like many of you, 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 you tore it down. You are ready for change. You are ready to get out of a toxic situation or relationship. You are ready. Now you can rebuild. And this time, this foundation is going to be unshakable. Okay? You're in control of your life now. Not anybody else. I've got the hair standing up on my arms. I've got goosebumps, you guys. Bless your heart. Whoever this message was for, you've been through it. But you know what? You're tough. You're tough. You're courageous. Okay? You, you just know that. Just know how much inner strength and wisdom and, and courage you have. It takes courage to... To walk away and release, you know, things that you're used to or, or a person that you, you you love, but they're not good for you. They're toxic. Okay? That takes courage. Whew. Feel it. You're going to be all right. You got this. I mean, I love the Nine of Pentacles here with the Ace of Cups. I mean, you, you're sitting in your independence right here. You got this. And you're rebuilding. All right, you guys. I love each and every one of you with all of my heart. Please leave me a comment. Let me know. What these energies mean to you, okay? I send you all my love, wishes, and blessings. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye, everyone.